Good morning students. I am Dr. K. Amuda, Assistant Professor of Zoology from ADM College for Women. Today I am going to talk about the life cycle of silkworm. The life cycle of silkworm involves four stages. First stage is the larva, then the people stage, then cocoon, then adult, then uh, it uh, again lays the eggs. Next slide. First the female moth lays many tiny eggs. The tiny black eggs ha hatches into the caterpillar out of its egg. The caterpillar eats uh, mulberry leaves and grows bigger and bigger. It goes through four molds. It undergoes four molds. Then it forms a larva stage. The caterpillar spins a cocoon of silk threads around itself. Uh, next, it, uh, the larva turns into pupa. Inside the cocoon, the caterpillar changes into a pupa. Uh, then the pupa into adult. Here, uh, people unwind this uh, uh, silk thread from the uh, cocoons to weave into the silk cloth. The pupa changes into a moth. The moth comes out of the cocoon again into the adult stage. The again, uh, the adult turn, uh, turns to the moths and then mate with each other and forms the tiny eggs. This is the uh, life cycle of silkworm. Next slide. The silkworm, the silkworm bombyx mori produces a silk of commercial importance. It is the caterpillar of a moth whose cocoon is used to make silk. This insect is also called the silkworm moth and the mulberry silkworm. Male and female moths are flightless and lake functional mouth pods. The moth differ in morphological features. The female has a larger abdomen whereas the male has a much larger pair of antennae. Next stage is the eggs. Egg is the first stage of a silkworm's life cycle. The female moth lays an egg about the size of an ink dot during summer or the early fall. The warmth of the spring stimulates the egg to hatch. The egg of Bombyx mori is a very small and a hard structure about the size of a pin head and resembling a poppy seed. The egg cell provides a protective covering for embryonic development. When first light, an egg is light yellow in color, a fertile worm darkens to a blue gray within a few days. Next is the larva stage. The larva is the vegetative stage where growth takes place. The larva of Bombyx mori, commonly called a silkworm, is host specific to mulberry. During growth, the larva molds four times. The period between successive molds is called an insta. Young silkworms can only feed on tender mulberry leaves. During the growth phase, they can eat tougher mulberry leaves as well. The larval stage lasts for about 27 days and the silkworm goes through five growth stages called instars. During the first molting, the silkworm sheds all its hair and gains a smooth skin. This is the larva stage. Then it turns to the pupa stage. As the silkworm prepares to pupate, it spins a protective cocoon. The silk cocoon serves as protection for the pupa. The cocoons are shades of white, cream and yellow depending on silkworm genetics. After a final molt inside the cocoon, the larva develops into the brown chitin covered structure called the pupa. The metamorphic changes of the pupa result in an emerging moth. If the silkworms are allowed to mature and break through the cocoon, the silk would be rendered useless for commercial purposes. So the end of the silk is then located and the cocoon unwound into a spindle to be made into the thread. The silk thread is formed. Next stage is the cocoon stage. The cocoon is the stage in which the larva spins silk silk threads around it to protect it from the predators. Cocoon is the stage in which the larva spins silk threads around it to protect itself from the predators. The color of the cocoon varies depending upon what the silk eats. It can range from white to golden yellow. The second molting occurs inside the cocoon. When the larva turns into a brown pupa, it takes about 2 to 3 weeks for the pupa to metamorphosis into the adult moth. Next stage is the imago that is the adult stage. This is the final stage. The adult stage completes the life cycle of Bombyx mori. It is the reproductive stage where adults mate and female lay eggs. Moths flightless and lake functional moth pods are unable to consume the food or their nutrition. 
Once the adult moth comes out of its cocoon, its only purpose is to find a member of the opposite sex and mate. Males are larger than the females and more active than the females. They flap their wings rapidly to attract the females. Within uh, 24 hours of mating, the moth dies, male moth dies, while the female lays abundant eggs. This is the Imoga is the final stage. Thank you.